Constructing graph and forming matrix of relation is shown in this example in which we want to draw the digraph of this relation on the set of natural numbers, which means numbers, integers that are non-negative, uh, therefore starting from 0, 1, 2, 3 onward for valid choices for x or y in this two tuple, and relation is defined by this set builder notation. So the minimum we can go for x is 0. If that is the case, uh, we substitute x here with 0, we get y is less than 23 divided by 3 as an integer, positive integer including 0, so the, therefore uh, valid choices for y would be less than 23 over 3, which means at most 7. So as a result, y can be any integers, <clears throat> so y, can, y belongs to the set that contains 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. These are valid choices for y. We have 8 valid choices given x is 0. Now, if x equal to 1, then substituting for 1, we get 2 plus 3y less than 23, so we get y less than 21 over 3, less than 7. So it would be the same set, except now 7 is excluded because it should be less than. So uh, we have up to six, seven choices. If x equal to two, then again substituting for x here, we get two times four, eight. So we get three y. So we get three y less than twenty-three minus eight, which means fifteen. So in that case, it means y should be less than five. So therefore, the valid choices for y would be simply 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and that's it. We have only five valid choices. And when we set x equal to 3, now x squared becomes 9. 9 times 2 is 18. Go to the other side. It means 3y is less than, less than 23 minus 18, which is less than 5. That basically means y should be uh, less than 5 over 3. Therefore, we have very limited choices for y, which means y can be either 0 or 1. That said, um, OK, and if we set x equal to 4, we can immediately see that 4 squared becomes 16 times 232 to the other side becomes 23 minus 32, which means minus negative 9. So, y will be less than um, <clears throat> less than negative 3, which y should be a positive non-negative non integer, therefore uh, there is no solution, so uh, no solution for y. So basically y belongs to empty set, which means no solution for y in this case. Basically, it means there is no way we can have x equal to 4 to satisfy this. All right, now that we know uh, the connections in terms of uh, what uh, nodes we are dealing with, so in this uh, graph, digraph, as we are looking for what we want, as you can see, we are dealing with nodes or vertices 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So there are eight vertices in this digraph, and uh, let me show them this way. So I'm going to uh, one, one thing we can do before that, if it helps, we can uh, show the, uh, the set that contain the two tuples in this relation. So let me put it this way. It would be this outcome. I'm going to just uh, maybe show it here. Um, maybe the best way would be, let me push this guys down. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show and write the set that defines relation in the, in the form of a raster or listing method like this. The relation R is a set that contains what? Set when x is equal to 0, then we see y can be 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 7. So we are saying 0, 0 belongs to this set to topple, 0, 1, 0, 2, uh, 0, 3, 0, 4, 
zero five zero six and finally zero seven because x is zero so the first element in the two tuple as defined by the set builder here is x the second element is y so we already found with zero which values for y are acceptable now move on to x equal to one so the first element in two tuple is one and we have zero up to six so one zero one 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 two one three one four one five and one six okay now let's move on to two when we have two y can be only zero one two three four so we end up with uh, two zero two one two two uh, and then two three and finally two four okay uh, what else do we have we have three and then three zero one so i'm going to continue here three can be only associated with zero related to zero and related to one and uh, that's it if you take a look at what we have four cannot be associated with anything so that's it that's the end of uh, the list of uh, elements or two tuples uh, inside the set R. Let's see, each of these elements would represent one edge or connection on the diagram. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So in conclusion, cardinality of relation R is 22 which means there are, there should be 22 edges or connection on the digraph, and uh, we have zero up to seven node, so there are number of vertices, so number of vertices on the digraph or nodes is eight, and this would be number of edges on the digraph. Okay, with that in mind, now we can form our digraph, so let's put it this way, that we have uh, say, for example, a zero. I'm going to put it here. So zero. And then we have one. And then we have two. And then we have three. And then we have four, five, six, and seven. So uh, let's put it this way. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So these are the eight vertices or nodes in this diagraph. Now, uh, let's show the connection. So as you can see, zero, zero, by the way, another way to represent this is saying zero R zero. It means zero is related to zero with via this relation. So zero, zero means one self loop. Zero is related to zero. That's it. So this self loop. Then we have 0, 1, 0, 2, and 0 to every node. So we have 0, 1. Okay. We have 0, 2. We have 0, 3. Okay. We have 0, 4. So we have 0, 4. Okay. We have 0, 5. Uh, and then we have 0, 6, and finally 0, 7. Uh, the direction of the arrow is very important because it shows the origin and destination uh, for this uh, scenario. Now, uh, if we want to see uh, what's going on for the other one, which is 2, then uh, we have to... Okay, so what I need to do is now we go with uh, 1 and 1, 0. So we need to have, let me use a different color so that it's easier to see it. But it means we have 1, 0, oh, the color. So let's use the a more visible color here. So I'm going to go with blue. So from 1, we go to 0. And then 1, 1 means there is a self loop on 1. And then we have 1, 2. Maybe I show it this way. Maybe I show it this way. 
one two and then we have one three uh, so maybe just to open up some spot let's show let's show one two so one two and then one three okay and after one three we have one four one five so one four okay and then we have one five and then we have one six we don't have one seven so that's the last one this is the busiest part but then after this we only have two zero two one so two zero means again using different colors so that it's easier to observe we need to go from two back to zero so we have this direction two one so we need to go from two back to one okay two two means there is a self loop on two and then two uh, three means go from two to three and then two four so two four means go from two to four that's it and finally for these last two guys we have uh, we have three to we have three to zero and then three to one so using different color I'm running out of colors so in this case we have three back to zero and then we have three to one so I need to show this line three back to um, hard to see it but three back to one maybe maybe rather than using a color that is aligned with what you have maybe I use the green color that is more visible so three goes to zero and then three goes to one hard to see but it is the best I can do at least with this digraph so uh, maybe maybe three to one this way three to one okay so uh, let's count the number of edges we can see and match it with 22 so we have uh, one um, and then two three four five six seven eight for black ones then we have one two three four five six seven for blue one that's 15 we have one two three four five for the red one that's 20 and then we have one two which means for the green one so we are matching 22 edges and we have eight vertices so this is exact by graph for this relation if we want to see the matrix representing this relation that's also easy so we can just expect to have an eight by eight matrix because we have eight vertices so in summary uh, mr so i'm going to write it here so uh, matrix r matrix representation of relation r is equal to and then we have uh, this situation so we have we have uh, let me just uh, so we we have eight by eight matrix okay so we have an eight by eight matrix like this all right and it's an eight by eight matrix and uh, we we're gonna deal with uh, vertices zero one two three four five six and seven and let me shift them a little bit uh, so that that's okay uh, we just need to be careful zero one two three four five six seven and maybe I can shift this guys uh, so that it better represent the okay so we have zero one two zero one two three four five six and seven okay now we have to fill in this matrix with the values and I'm going to use uh, let's say I'm not going to show all of them. I'm, I'm just going to show the, the, the ones that are one. So I'm going to use the black color. You can see that zero is connected to everything. So zero, 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 one, zero, two, zero, three, zero, four, zero, five, zero, six, zero, seven. 
and 1 is connected to everything except 7. So 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6, but not 1, 7. Then we have 2 connected to 2, 0, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4. That's it. We don't have 2, 5. And 3, 3 is con only connected to 3, 0, and 3, 1. That's it. The rest of this matrix is 0. So whatever is not shown in this matrix, all of them 0. And number of 1s, if you count them, should be equal to 22 number of edges. So the size of matrix defined by number of vertices, 8 by 8, the number of 1s, non-zero element, inside the matrix representing the number of connections or edges, 22. I hope that this example is helpful.